Hey guys, it's your workers and welcome back to my FIFA 17 Atletico Madrid career mode. Where I have fucked up. Which will be of no surprise to anyone. I don't know what happened, but I'm going to try to explain it. I don't know how that works either. So, you, the last episode was episode 20. It was a, supposed to be episode 21. This should be episode 22, but this is episode 21. Now, I didn't realize my mistake. I didn't know... Of the you know I made a mistake. It must have been yeah, through all the confusion so far, leading up to so my hard. exams, and I apologize. Atletico Madrid against Barcelona. You did miss two league games. Rivalry between these two teams. I think we're going to see a match of real passion. One was against skill. Malaga, and the other was against. I'm not even too sure. I think it might have been Real Sociedad or something like that. But the two games before I played Real Madrid in the last episode. Um, well, I think that's inspired by. Yeah, they just don't exist anymore. Work ethic is um, I clearly played them because to handle the big occasion with such otherwise I couldn't have gotten to the Real Madrid match. There's an awful lot of weight on his shoulders at times, um, particularly when he pulls I'm still in the field in the late, so I, I clearly won those matches. I can't tell you about the scoreline. I sh you think I would have looked? I didn't. I don't care. But in the grand scheme of things, when, you, when it boils down to it, the results of those matches now they don't matter. You think they would, but really, you, you already know I've won those matches. I wouldn't be undefeated and then be the league champions if I had lost. He's not made a rod for his own back with an early booking. So, um, I will. What I will do is, well, you could see what he was trying to do during this just episode. Just I will show hard. you the results from those. Uh, what's the downfall in that? Um, they'll be, they'll be jogging my memory and showing them to you. But uh, yeah, there's good progress with this attack. No, for sure, if the, the, the other go, uh, uh, if the other game was in the. To the player um, yeah, it's a wet surface and obviously a wet ball. If you are a game, it's got to be spot on. Well, sus, that I'm not too sure. I guess we'll find out after this game. Now, uh, as you can see, I uh, got through the second. Like, I beat Benfica 4 nothing, and I simmed that game. I didn't. Uh, I, Play it sometimes. I might play it just to <laughs> just to the back heel, didn't quite come off. Just out of it. Oh, one, one, Good one, strong tackle. Wins. Because you know, I have to have something to do in between recordings, too. You know, you guys can go back and watch all the episodes. This is an excellent run. I can He's watch it out wide here. Chance to well, get some width into this attack. He's better usually at crossing than that. It was a defender do, who have quite that. easily, actually. So, yeah, if, if I have teams that I can here. do something with, like. Oh, he's true. Play him off camera. Griezmann! This game isn't all about goals, Antoine Griezmann. But in that case, the package. I was on target. I send it and it's for nothing. Speed, control as well at that pace. It takes a bit of doing. They got it absolutely right. Carrasco got hat trick in that day, but caught the opposition got hat -trick. who had committed too many men forward. Because Antoine Griezmann. So the first goal is there and yeah, first thing again, watch it. I get good. 
there's a conflict of interest here. It's almost an old fashioned. On one hand, I want to get a good uh, result here against Barcelona. They hit on the break. But on the other impressive. hand, I'll talk about a team totally broken up more than the sum of the parts. This is it, isn't it? A magnificent example of what can be achieved. Yeah, I can pitch it in. do the second one, I guess. The uh, second game of the second time. Slipped his man. I Good forward play from. Generally, do not know what I'm going to play as the second game of this episode. If I were to beat Barcelona by a really a big scoreline. Into the Atletico Madrid penalty area. I I'm gonna try and get as big scoreline as I can, but deep down, I'm kind of like hoping. I hope Barcelona park the fucking bus and just hold on to. Uh, Possibilities for Barcelona. Uh, Shot blocked here. In 2 now, 3 now would be a stretch. So that's like the max ID. Trying to thread it through here. Happy but that's unhappy. The, the commentator look bad, isn't it? And, it and um, something here. interesting happened. You guys will know that um, in the last episode, of course, Space I for the shot. on Madrid to win, oh, uh, charge down. to win the league title. Uh, Antoine Griezmann scored a hat trick in that game. The other goal okay. was a 4 0 win. The other goal was scored by Miranda. First goal of the season for Miranda. And are having a lot of the ball here, but it's not winning them this Instantly, his ring was dropped to an 85. I, I do not know how this game works. Miranda's been solid all season. Awarded by the referee. And, um, yeah, I, I don't understand. He's been solid all season. Into the attacking third. Not really put foot wrong. Scores his first goal of the season. He's in the most crucial game of the season. And his rating goes down because EA logic would be my best guess. Griezmann. Very straightforward save for the goalkeeper. I don't know how that works either, ladies and gentlemen. I really don't. And apologies for that interruption if you uh, noticed it. I don't know why. I, I have a sign on my door that says, Do not disturb. Which was bought for me by my parents. Yet they don't fucking look at it. Why do I even have it? Seriously. So the referee blows and it's off and running for the second half of the Champions Cup semi-final. Well, we're getting to the point now where nobody can afford to make a mistake. Atletico Madrid Just now attacking dangerously. Mind boggling. Griezmann! He's kept it out. I mean, fine header, better save. Yeah, signs are your friends. With the header, but, uh, stop with signs. Tell you when you should stop. With floor signs, like, you know that the floor is wet so you don't slip and, and hurt yourself. Do not disturb some means are very good to let you know when people are, are recording or having sex. Like that's a weird girl. Couldn't keep it down. you know what, Martin? That's a missed chance because and my parents just walking in no design. That would be so oh disrespectful. And so rude. Lionel Messi. Nice bit of interplay between these two. And the attacking now. And it's disrespectful and rude as well it when it's recording. Well, I just don't want to hear from my parents talking over me. I'm the oh, best at aim, so I, I'm not going to try and get that out, because I don't know what yeah, it was over. Points at stake. It's a big match it was a few times. minutes ago in the video, and I'm just going to fucking leave it there. But, seriously, I'm going to have to get a bigger sign. I think the cross is on. I am actually going to have to get a fucking a bigger cross. Not well hit because at apparently, all. the Dealt one nailed to my door isn't big enough. 
And it's been an hour of very good football here. We've still got nailed to the door. Sure just hanging there. Her. And yet, no, it's completely invisible, apparently. That's, it. Towards That's good to know. I didn't know I had an invisible sign, but apparently I do. Barcelona, what about the next game, Alan? Well, they've got Villa Royale. I'll we'll have to give it to a scientist to learn it. Magical. Or invisibility proportions. It's how is it invisible? Why is it invisible? Felipe Luis. Is it only invisible to certain people? Because I can fucking see it all the fucking time. I'm the one who turns it around when it's not in use, and when it is in use, I turn it around the back. Referee entitled to say play on with the advantage, and Atletico Madrid do just that. The break is definitely on. Oh, great work by the keeper. Stupidity. Behind for the corner for Atletico Madrid. Godin! That's great hands from the goalkeeper I, to make that I generally do not understand why. Wait until the sign is turned to work. That's PK with the interception. So we're coming down now towards the last 15 minutes. And Barcelona on the attack. It's not that difficult. Shots on here. Ah, oh, he's missed it. And that would have been the equaliser. Oh, what a chance. What a chance that was. And uh, I don't know whether he's going to get another in this. Sign is up for a reason. Vesalico. And you know why the sign is up? To avoid things like that. Yeah, it still fucking happens. It's it's laughably stupid. He scored, and that could just pull him away to make sure of the victory. That goal for Atletico Madrid. The defenders seem to lose the concentration almost. They saw it coming from a long way out. Anyway, regardless of that, up the second goal. What a finish! Oh. Big, uh, nice, comfortable 2 0 victory over Barcelona, but it's not going to be enough. On one hand, I'm a bit disappointed, but again, it's just. Oh, I have something to put in the rest of this video. There is a um, league game that I have to see. Crisp defending there. I won this by a comfortable margin. So this could be a chance. Anderson. I think he got the headlines in his mind already. How he was going to be oh, getting the accolades. The Such a head wonderful head. breakaway goal. <laughs> oh dear, he's embarrassed now. Uh, Get some stick from his team. I had the time and space as well to go into the um, to get yeah, shall we goal as well. Three minutes. That's what's going to be played for added time. Yeah. Neymar. Oh well, I guess well defended, uh, not just this is the second across. leg. He thought quickly as well. No harm, no foul. Correa. Yannick Carrasco. Carrasco. Let's go Madrid now, attacking dangerously. Piss off. And in goes the cross. Come on. Penalty! Penalty! But he got in quickly, but he didn't really control. He took... No, I was Neymar. about to score as well. Success here is the winner. Get that show away at goal. I'm at least going to force a save out or stay in. Cup semi final mm. first leg. Athletic Madrid 2, Barcelona. That's questionable. <laughs> that could easily be a penalty. Call it sure, but Real Betis 3. Um, oh, Carrasco's gone up to an E6. When did he do that? He must have gone up recently as well. For some reason. Of course, Gaetan has to go in for the uh, second leg against Barcelona. They're not going to play in this game against Ibar, is it? Yep. No offense to Ibar, but 
actually change it around a little bit. Get um, Gabby on for you. Get Moreno on here. And get... Let's get Fernandez on instead of Thomas. Why the hell not? I think that's a good enough lineup. Hopefully that's good enough. I'd be very disappointed if my uh, run comes to an end in a simmed home game. Even with the second team, I'm not too worried. I have no reason to be worried. Yeah, there we go. Alva. Alver... Alverdo? I still don't quite know how to say that player's surname, but uh, he scored a brace and he got three more points on the board. Fantastic. Atletico yeah. Madrid two. Oh, right there. Nil. Deportivo Alaves one. Nice work. Atletico um, two. Oh, thank you. Barcelona three. Villarreal nil. That's why my rating went Real up. I was wondering why. One. Um, one. Let's go back in time. So what do those results mean to the league table? Those At the top of the games. table, remain it was Real Sociedad. There you can see the results. Second, Four nil Madrid against with seventy nine points. With a game so so that, on the team that was a home game. Third, Barcelona and a four nil win over Malaga. Like I said, Valencia with sixty three points. I don't remember fifth, anything Real about those matches. Sixty one points. In sixth, Sevilla with 57 points with a game in hand. There's just confirmation that I did beat uh, Benfica 4 0 in that simulated game. In eight, I also beat Osasuna 3 0 in that simulated game. Bottom of the table, yeah, Osasuna sure. with no, I didn't show that one there. With a game in hand on the team above. These games were Third also bottom, simulated Ibarra with 33 points. Fourth bottom, Spanish, Malaga with 36 Hamas, points, but only behind the Real. goal difference. Fifth bottom, climbing the table, are Hion with a good record. Points. Could have played those games, but I decided not to. Have they played? They've played only one leg. It's uh, nice and even between those two as well. I, I don't get it. I'm, I'm trying to improve your stamina, Antoine, but your, your stamina is not going up. Why is it not going up? I really wish I could have figured out why his stamina didn't want to go up. That's the problem. I, I don't know if maybe, maybe it's an age thing, but he's 26. He's not too much older than... How much stamina do you have again? You're telling me that he only ha he's five better stamina than Gramero, who's like don't say it's an age thing because this M Moreno guy has terrible fucking stamina. I also do not know who I'm supposed to train at this point because it's all really irrelevant at this point now because uh, we're coming to the end of the season and the end of the career mode. Did I? I did, didn't I? Just, I mean, I didn't want his overall to go up. I just wanted his stamina to go up. I mean, he's a 90 rate player now. Yay. But is that really going to make a difference that's gonna make Barcelona weep in fear or, yeah no it's, it's absolutely not they're not gonna give a shit I mean they have Lionel Messi and Luis Suarez and Neymar three over 90 rated speaking of Messi there he is actually uh playing the uh, way jersey Correa is a little tired but, um, I do have, wait, do I? Yeah, I do have Carrasco on the uh, bench, so he can come on if need be. Huh, or maybe he can't, because apparently he can't play Cam. What made me think he could play Cam? Come on. 
I don't, I don't know. So that's an odd one. I could have sworn. Why do I th What made me think Carrasco could play Cam? I could have sworn he had like a Cam card in like Ultimate Team last FIFA. Maybe he, like, he had just one good game at Cam and they just like, say, you know what, give him a fucking Cam card. Why the hell not? That's where he played. I guess. I, I don't know. I could have sworn he had, you know what, it doesn't fucking matter. Got in this game, of course. It may be I'll play him there anyway, regardless. Can bring the best out of both of them. It won't make a difference. At least I don't think it will. Wholesale changes for Barcelona. Mark Andre Testegan starts in goal. Stefan Savage plays with Javier Mascherano as the center. I kind of wish the other uh, semi final second leg was on at the same time. I don't understand why it was. He was man of the match last time out. Completely unnecessary. I mean, it's not like. For Atletico Madrid. Starting in goal, Jan Oblak. Diego Godin starts. He, the they're in the same stadium. Defense. Like that makes that kind of makes sense for like the FA Cup semifinals, which are both play at Wembley. But no, they, not really for the uh, Europa League. I mean, like, I mean the Champions League, the Europa League semifinals are played on the same night. Europa well, League mostly plays on Thursday because why the fuck not? Uh, am I right? Okay. The only uh, exception will probably be the final. Oh, which um, There's real threat from Atletico Madrid in these positions. I'm both looking forward to and not giving a shit about. On one hand, and I will be looking indeed, forward to it if my eye are going to lose it, but. Something tells me, I don't know what, but something gives me that feeling that you know, you're going to sneak out. It's looking good, this move. Gaetan! Uh... Good defending. Oh, your man is playing for Barcelona today. Wait, are they playing three? Suarez. Possession in the midfield area. Oh, both Suarez are playing. Dennis and Reedy. So there's that. Well, this is how this. And here comes the counter, counter attack. I don't know. They're playing Mascherano and. Uh, wait, and who's playing right? Well back? played. Yeah, it was great goalkeeper. He um, shirked the challenge, did he? There's some potential in this move. Thanks, uh, is it Sergio Roberto? Why would he be playing right back? And a big clearance. Out of danger and out of play. Sure, it's, end. um... Nicholas Gaetan. Good challenge. It looks like it is no, Roberto no, 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 playing here at the right back position. I can't see a third back, so I, I I don't know. I really don't know. Unless Alaba is playing as a center back. Wouldn't be the only uh, left back who's uh been forced into a center back role. Well, that's very quick to uh, Chelsea is a good uh, example, and uh, Arsenal are doing it. With, have been doing it recently with uh, Nacho Monreal as well. Well, I'm the as many as we used to of it, but the cross made the header so possible. Yeah, it is still one of the, the best sights in football, and I think there's probably a few more examples that spectacular header. If given the opportunity, you guys could list off the comments, but uh, I'm still not putting those on because why the fuck would I? I've been enjoying the peace and tranquility. If you want to interact with me, you can find me on Twitter. The link is in the description. A lot of people have been. I've been a lot more time than that. On Twitter. 
ever since I turned off the comments, so it was it's win win really. Mostly it's people I normally talk to on Twitter anyway, but you know, leading from the still front. A more for contact. Because I do on occasion. My um contacted by you subscribers. And the aggregate margin is widened to four nil. And to people who send me um suggestions I, I've gone over this before but the the teams I pick for secondary career modes one I'm not doing the same league over and over again so people asking for other English teams for lower league English teams that's not gonna happen oh Griezmann how did you not score that um well he's cleared the day people Saying, oh, go Juventus or go Dortmund or go oh, oh, Milan or AC or We've this team or that team. Now. If I go a team, it'll be completely utterly uh, random. Like, Half -time whistle goes if it were up to me, I would have gone to the major leagues first. But, you know, this is not the first secondary career mode and certainly it won't be the last it's almost over as well so the referee blows off and running for the second half of the champions cup semi on our way to the netherlands soon for the psv career mode good strong tackle very weak challenge Griezmann. actually um beginning i should be getting Contacted with my uh, thumbnail soon. Have uh, my new design. My new man is uh, working on one. It's the same guy who did the uh, thumbnail for this career mode. So I'm expecting top much work once again. And for a throw. The I mean, why, why not get the best work you can get? Not really. Felipe Luis. There goes the cross. Shot up. A goal. If you follow me on Twitter, I'll probably uh, been to get the ball out to that share one. the At every opportunity. Yep. During this then, um, did it again and got the reward. And what a fabulous cross. When the uh, and that when it comes in. Coming, he says, with the perfect be ready in the next couple of days. So that's good. Back of the net, well done, son. And that on aggregate means it's 5 0. I think I uh, put his um, Twitter in the thing from last time, but in the uh, in and Barcelona on the attack. In the, uh, at the start of his career mode. If I didn't, it's um, at J. Could make a chance with this tackle. Boogie. Yeah. He B O. Bo Boogie. Sorry. B. It's Barcelona. It's uh, J with two Y's as well. Um, capital J A Y Y. Capital B E two small O's one and small G one I. One small I, I should say, and uh, two, two small E's and an underscore. The uh, the actual name is prof phenomenal J. Sorry, I almost said professional J. His work is very okay. professional. Oh, okay. um, yeah. Okay. We've had an hour. Looking gone forward to uh, getting Still more. Minutes left. Another great thumbnail of him. I really love the thumbnail. Oh, what well, he did for this career mode. He'll probably be doing all the career modes from now on, as long as he's available. A timely challenge. Because for once, Madrid's next I contacted someone who actually in their next match in La Liga. He accepted a second coast home. Hmm job from me after I got a decent thumbnail. Luis Suarez. Wait. 
up until this point, everybody I've worked with before has like gone dark on me after a few thumbnails or one thumbnail, which is mostly the case. I'm like, we're calling this to go. You know, like, it's never been a problem with payment. We never. If I've ever asked them to change anything, it's very minor. Barati. Well, it might be my. Maybe that's my Jody opinion. Alba. But it's, like, it's very rare I ask. Neymar. Normally, I, I, I get what I'm looking for. Well, the home team has been outplayed, and the home supporters so, have lost uh, their I don't know what support, to I think. Oh, to say. I mean, a pin drop here. I'm, two, it's it's not like I'm... Unimpressed. They've coped with it well defensively. Not only is the thumbnail getting out there, I'm Griezmann. promoting them Nicholas so Guita. that, you know, if any you are watching, saying that thumbnail looks like boss as hell. You say to yourself, Myself a thumb. For Barcelona. Now, when you hear me mention the guy, his Twitter, if you're on Twitter, you go on to Twitter, you go, you type in his name, you find him, and you contact him. He's very nice. He respond. He respond almost immediately. Like I contacted him a few days ago about getting. getting the uh, Ivan Rakitic. Stuff. No, well, within about five minutes, he he got back to Neymar. me. I, I thought, oh, I'll leave him a DM and he'll get back to me in the morning. No, five minutes later, about. No, I don't even think it was out. five minutes later. Hang on. And now the shot. He's made the save. Four minutes. Four minutes. Not even five. Okay. Four. One less than five. Oh. You know, and the decision if you're waiting a little bit longer, it won't kill you. Lionel Messi. <laughs> Success here is the whistle blows. The thumbnails are the average. This thumbnail is um ten. The new one is um, going to be five. I don't know why it's five, but I've... I said fair enough. I am not going to even inquire why it's gone. The price has gone down. That would be stupid. If he, if he's, maybe he's having some sort of sale. I don't know. Oh, I'm not going to risk that he'll put the price back up to ten. I mean, I would pay it ten anyway. I mean. His quality is that good that uh, I'd it'd be stupid not to pay the full amount. Like, the amount of people I've contacted about it, it's, re it's really bizarre. I've worked with several different thumbnailers and constant business, apparently, they're not interested. So, I will uh, say this to you guys, if you ever start a business or you, you give out designs, if someone comes to you for a PA business, don't ignore them. Like, and if you're busy, it's fair enough. You just say, oh, I'm a little busy at the moment, okay. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Or if you if you ignore them and just leave them without any response at all, just completely he nothing, they're gonna go somewhere else. And you're gonna lose that business. And I don't care how cheap those other guys are. Business is business. That's that's my hey uh, final take. On that. Thanks for watching. I'm Joy. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day.